Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Nuck, and welcome to another installment of Nucka TV Presents A Damn Good Wingman. Now, while this isn't necessary in order to have a successful team deathmatch game, it makes it a whole lot more fun. So, what you'll see is basically we created a two-man choke point on Hangar 18, focusing on that generator room, and it wasn't something we planned out. This was just really good chemistry, and we just kind of both gravitated to this area, and it just kind of happened, you know, we didn't plan it out. Now, as we switch to the wingman cam, he's got the left side, and you'll notice I'm manning the right side. And again, holding two points like this from the jump of the match can really catch the enemy by surprise. They get really flustered when they come down that ramp, or they try to post up in the building across the way, and we take them out as soon as they show themselves. Uh, now, my wingman pushes up to create the box effect, and basically he does that in case they try to come through the middle that middle hangar area or if they try to flank me um so he's going in there he's clearing out that generator room and uh basically what he's gonna do is just man that window area because they're, they're probably not going to come from that side anymore so he's going to man that window area and just let me know if anybody's coming behind me or he's going to kill somebody if they're coming from the front now, I noticed that he shot his rocket, so I'm just sitting there waiting, and boom, there we go. So I knew because of communication that they were coming to flank me. He let me know. So he basically pushes back up, and he meets me, and we're going to create the choke point again, but we're going to create that choke point focusing back on our spawn area because we know they're going to try to flank us now. So basically, we went like, I think it was 11 and 0 before I ended up dying. And the, the funny thing about this video is um, the enemy team ends up rage quitting. And I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, really? Like, we're not glitching. We're not doing anything cheap. We're just, we just created a choke point and we're executing it, you know, very well. <laughs> so they they end up rage quitting and luckily i was hosting so we didn't have to worry about like a host migration or anything like that but the interesting thing uh, about this whole video is that one enemy guy stayed and he gritted it out to the end and i just want to give major props to master vader 303 for not rage quitting now I did own him pretty bad <laughs> for the rest of this footage, but the fact that he stayed and gritted it out and didn't rage quit, let me tell you guys, I would have rage quit it. If my whole team quit on me and I was getting owned, it's it's going to be a loss. There's not going to be anything I can do to, to change the outcome, so it's going to be a loss anyway. Straight up, I'm rage quitting. I'm not going to stay to find out you know that i could make my kdr any worse <laughs> or just get owned but um you know what it pays off for master vader 303 because in the very end after i owned him a few times he gets the last laugh and he gets me last but i mean just major props because you don't see that much where a whole team rage quits and one guy will stay you know and i messaged him afterwards and i was like hey man props to you you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's up. Thanks for staying and finishing out the game. And he was just like, I just like to play. I'm just a fan of the game. You know what I mean? And I'm just trying to get better. So what way to get better than, to, you know, have the Tupac mentality, me against the world, and see what I can do. And really, man, that's what's up. And I admire that. So maybe, maybe in the future, if something like that happens to me, maybe I won't rage quit. I don't know. Yeah, right. I'm probably still going to rage quit. But anyhow, props to him and props to my wingman, Intozoa. Um, like I said, we've been playing together for a little while, for, for a couple months now, actually. And just that chemistry built up. 
and really allowed us to to do our thing you know like this was not something we planned out and it's just cool when something develops like that out of a game and you're not expecting it it's just a really awesome feeling to know you got chemistry like that with with one of your teammates so i'm interested to know um of my viewers out there my viewers and subscribers and even the casual people that just stopped by to to check the video out leave a comment and i want to hear about your experience like this if you've had it to where it was the beginning of the game or the end of the game and you had an awesome comeback or if your whole game was just dominating and you just had chemistry with someone and you guys were just dominating and were an unstoppable force because there's force in numbers let's face it and if you got two people on the same page i don't care if it's six people or eight people you're going to have the advantage if they're not on the same page and you two are and you're holding choke points and you're communicating. That's so important is communication in this game. So I definitely want to hear about what you guys have to say. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And I'll have more coming soon. Holla at your boy, Jay Nook. Thank you for watching Nucka TV. For support, press subscribe. To be on the street team, press like and save two faves. And as always, like the Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash Japanese Naka. Again, that's www.facebook.com forward slash Japanese Naka.